One of the most common causes of safety failures on the railroad is a loss of mental alertness on the part of the locomotive engineer operating the train. A loss of alertness, or even brief periods of microsleep, can occur especially during times of extensive work shift changes, as well as during long stretches of calm, routine operations. To help alleviate this issue, the LEVCS was developed, the Locomotive Engineer Vigilance Control System. This unique system utilizes the phenomenon of electrodermal activity, also known as EDA, to continuously monitor a train operator's state of mental alertness. The system not only monitors an operator's alertness, it also records all of this information so that if necessary, it can be extracted and reviewed on demand. The LEVCS consists of the following components, the processing and communication units, the receiver indicator unit, and the wearing parts, including the bracelet and ring. Components can be installed in a standalone fashion or built right into the cabin dashboard. Here is how the system works. In order to use the LEVCS, the locomotive engineer simply puts the bracelet on his wrist. The metal part of the bracelet should be positioned on the inner part of the wrist. The bracelet will turn on automatically no later than 16 seconds after being put on by the operator. The built-in LED light will signal to the operator that the bracelet is on. After the bracelet is activated, the operator turns on the LEVCS by using the on-off switch, located on the controller block, or, in the case that the LEVCS is built in, by simply pressing the proper button on the dashboard control panel. At this point, the orange indicator scale, illustrating the engineer's state of alertness, will become illuminated. This is in plain view of the train operator. In the event that during his shift, the operator begins to enter into a state of deep relaxation, the indicator scale will begin to drop. At this point, if the operator notices the dropping scale, he can press the vigilance button to reset the system. In the event that the operator is not alert enough to notice this, and in the event that he continues to fall into a deeper state of relaxation, the indicator scale will continue to drop, eventually dropping completely, at which point the alarm signal will sound. The operator then has eight seconds to press the vigilance button to confirm his presence. Doing so will reset the system and stop the alarm. If the operator fails to press the vigilance button within those eight seconds, the LEVCS will apply the emergency brake. If the operator starts to receive LEVCS alerts at frequent intervals, he should attempt to bring himself into a more alert state suitable for work. The operator can achieve this by performing exercises, such as quickly lifting and dropping the arms, taking several deep breaths, and energetically squeezing and releasing the fists. As these exercises are performed, the brain activity changes and the state of mental alertness increases. The level of an engineer's mental alertness can drop over the course of a work shift. This risk increases as the shift goes on. The LEVCS catches this drop in alertness at the moment it occurs. In this way, the system actually prevents a locomotive from ever being operated by an engineer in a dangerous state of microsleep. The LEVCS is designed in such a way that it works well with every person, despite individual differences in EDA. The LEVCS has been used by Russian railroads since 1996. Since that time, Russian railroads has not experienced a single accident caused by an engineer falling asleep in an LEVCS-equipped train.